Hello, this is another session with Spencer from 812-112 Management Group. I am a consultant, trainer, and educator. Um, I want to talk about a subject today about clients, but I want to talk specifically, I want to talk about a specific area when we're talking to service providers, okay? We're talking about your barbers, cosmetologists, stylists, and even we're going to touch just a little bit about salon owners and your staff. Now, one of the things that I found out about clients uh, there are several types of clients and so you want to know uh, someone may say to me well Spence I may ask you a question I'll say so how many clients do you have oh well I have hundred and fifty clients okay so let's break that down what does that mean when you saying that you have hundred fifty clients so what we want to do is and I expect when you when, when I see you you tell me Spencer I watched that presentation about clients about the whole hundred fifty I want you I want to be able to ask you that question uh, what what is your makeup of your clients so let's get straight into this listen okay so we have when we're talking about clients we have new clients that was referred to you how many referrals of this 150, how, how many of those 150 was referred to you? And then we have new clients, which is walk-ins. Um, how many of that 150 came through walk-ins? Okay, you got me? So we got new clients referred, we have new clients walk in. So we're talking about, again, we're talking about barbers, stylists, cosmetologists, nail techs, estheticians, the whole gamut. So we're talking about clients. We have a total of 150 clients. We want to find out what is the makeup of those clients. So we have repeat clients. When we're talking about repeat clients, of that 150, how many of those 150 come back to you? Now, this a lot of times, you know, you may say to me, Spence, I have 150 clients, but are they repeat clients? Are they new clients referral? Walk-in clients? What are they? So we move right along, out of that 150, how many of them are chemical clients? So we, we, we understand uh, out of that 150, how many of that 150 are chemical clients? Now what I found out through education and through understanding, these are money-making clients. You say, well, why are chemical clients money-making clients? What I found out about chemical clients is when, when you're offering a chemical service, then they have to have some kind of maintenance product when they go home. So not only do they get the chemical part of the service, they get the styling part, but they need styling aids and maintenance and, and, and home maintenance. So if you're not, if you don't have clients that are chemically dependent on you or chemically dependent as a service provider, you're losing a lot of money in chemical services and retail. Now, the last one is the most important. Those out of that 150, how many of them are pre-booking with you? Now, I've also found out through much research, much, much education, that if your clients are not pre-booking, then you're putting uh, money out there wide open. Nobody is, nobody is pre-booking on your schedule. You're not pre-booking the clients for the next visit. So a lot of times you'll say, well, just call me or I'll get with you or, you know, you have to put that client in the book because if you don't put that client in the book, then what happens is that client is in charge of your destiny. You don't want that to happen. So pre-book is a whole subject by itself. I want to cover that in another presentation, another session, just to show you how, what are your pre-booking ratios uh, to find out are you meeting up to standard. Uh, the average pre-booking ratio is 75%. So you want to have a 75% pre-booking rate. Now, let's just go back through this presentation just to make sure that we're clear. Uh, I'm talking to barbers and stylists and service providers, uh, nail techs, estheticians. Now, we have clients. We have 150 clients. You tell me I have 150 clients. How many of those 150 clients are new clients referred? How many of those 150 clients are new clients walk in? Uh, how many of that 150 clients are repeat clients? How many of that 150 clients are chemical clients? And how many of this 150 clients are pre-booking for your services? Now, if you see me out and about at a hair show, uh, come up to me. I may ask you the question, so what's your pre-book ratio? So you tell me you have 150 clients, I'm going to ask you how many of, of them was walk-in? How many of those was referred? Now, this is how you sell the business or when you're talking about your business as a service provider. So you wanna, we just want to be clear about that and know how. 
and what clients do you have in your service mix?